in the game just to get my fatty. And these lazy I ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love Key Talk Gang. Notification Gang, Key Talk Gang, really the same thing. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, so trash talking Charles has got into it with somebody again. Now, of course, it's typical for him to get into it with somebody, but this time, well, really every time he goes super overboard with the disrespect, but I think he went over, over, overboard with the disrespect this time. So now, but I will say that this time he didn't actually start it, right? So Trash Talking Charles pretty much has a book, like a, a kid's book, that actually was put out by a guy. Now, the guy that he did the kid's book with ended up sending a DM to Gilly the Kid, uh, and Gilly the Kid pretty much... Don't worry about that. Gilly the Kid pretty much responded with uh, to the guy that sent him the book that him and Trash Talking Charles put together for the youth to inspire the youth. And Gilly the Kid kind of went at Trash Talking Charles, right? I'm going to read y'all what Gilly the Kid said, and then I'm going to read you what uh, the response from the guy, and then I'm going to play what Trash Talking Charles said completely disrespectful. So, Trash Talking Charles, well, so the, the video, the, the uh, picture was sent to the guy from the author, and then Gilly the Kid responded, if you send me this fake Gaffoe. So pretty much called him fake, right? And then the book Arthur responded, dang, big homie, I'm just an Arthur trying to help the babies. Because this guy, the Arthur, was a was a previous commissioner for his city, if you know what that is. Uh, but I'm going to continue. And then Gilly the Kid responded, that a rat, see, and a coward. Nothing against you, but how do you know him? He was nothing Nobody in his 20s or 30s gets to be 40-something and disrespect because that's known. That's the only reason you ever heard of this. So I'm talking about Gilly the Kid is completely spazzing and going off on Trash Talking Charles, right? He could have just said, man, listen, don't see me that book. I don't want that no more. But I mean, it's like he had, it's like these words that Gilly the Kid is saying, he's wanted to say this stuff for a long amount of time now, right? Anyway, so the book author responded back and was like, I appreciate that, big homie. I was a commissioner in my city, uh, Yip Salem, Michigan, and I do a lot for the community work just like him. So I can identify with the man, Charleston White, and not the character. Although I understand the character was needed, I think Unc the Goat and what he do has been doing has been very effective in a positive way for our culture. He's talking about the fact that he actually goes to the schools and talks to the youth and, and, and really helps out the youth, right? Uh, he said, just think about it, big homie. Once he said this in the dead. So from there, I guess that Arthur must have sent what Gilly the Kid said to him. And trash talking Charles went ballistic. I'm talking about extremely ballistic. I'm going to play the video, but first I'm going to read you what trash talking Charles said right before I play the video. He said, I see Gilly the kid got smoke in his chest. May his son rest in piss and the killers be forgiven by God and live a long life of redemption. Remember how your son died? You was begging for a snitch to help solve his crime. He wrote this to the Arthur. And then, of course, he said the Arthur in the children's book. But this is the video that Trash Talking Charles did. A dead son and you talking about snitching, nigga. Pow! Let me shot your mother's son in the head, boy, on a lot. Pow! Got the young Gilly been shot. I remember how you and Wallow would cry. You and Wallow would cry. Oh, my son. Now you talking about snitching. You got them right, I'm a law abiding citizen. That's why your son on a lie. Hold on. I'm finna call my son. You got to go to the graveyard to see your son. <laughs> say, say, <laughs> say look, say look, say look, this is what my kids give me for Father's Day. Uh, Gilly, say Gilly, <laughs> cash money backup single. <laughs> say, cash money backup single. I'm sorry, backup dancer. Say, listen, I'm finna call my boy, cause you can't call your, you got to do this. Oh, I miss my son. I don't miss my, I'm finna call mine right now. Hold on, let me call my son. Cause I'm finna do this, cause Gilly can't call here. He got a on a lie, boy. His son dead with maggots coming out of his ass. Let me call my boy. Call my goddamn son. Hello. What's up, Mijo? What's up, Dan? What you doing? Oh, okay, you got to go to work today? 
Okay. Well, I'll just call and talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Okay, what you got going on there? Uh, I got to go pick up my merchandise out of Houston today. Okay, what you got going on there? Uh, I got to go pick up my merchandise out of Houston today. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be back this evening. Is your All car, right. your uh, mom ready to finish with your car yet? Uh, oh, okay. Probably another two, two days. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, love you. All right, love you too. All right. Okay. <laughs> Say, Gilly, you wouldn't you want to hear your son boy just one more time? But pow, they shot the kid to the cold, daddy. Oh, you didn't get to help him. You too busy trying to play street and gangster, and your son got killed trying to play gangster. Bang, bang. Rest in peace. Anyways, now from that video, you can definitely see that's probably one of the most disrespectful videos that Trash Talking Charles has ever done. YouTube, this is literally for educational purposes uh, and entertainment purposes. These are two actors, right? Well, two entertainers. Literally, they are entertainers, right? But with all that being said, you know, I did post this on my Instagram at Key Talk Media. You can see some people in the comment section actually defending Trash Talking Charles because of what he said, and some people completely against what he said. Now, the people against what he said is saying the typical stuff of, oh, he's always talking about somebody that's dead or somebody that's this and that's that. And then the people that's kind of defending him is like, well, Gilly kind of did come and start it. You know, like he could have just said, Hey, I don't, want, I don't want the book or care about the book, but he called him a B8, a coward, all type of stuff, right? Now, this might be an opportunity for Trash Talking Charles to get in the ring with Gilly the Kid. Now, I don't know if Gilly the Kid can box or not, uh, but I do know that this type of disrespect, I don't think he, I mean, obviously he's going to be able to sleep with it, but this is some super disrespect. I mean, like, y'all know the story of, of Gilly the Kid's son. I actually did a video on the story of Gilly the Kid's son and how he was shot and unalived. Uh, and if y'all haven't seen that video, you can go check that out in the past because I did drop it. But I mean, like I said, this was just extremely disrespectful. Another beef for trash talking Charles this time with Gilly the Kid. Anyway, so how do y'all feel about it though, right? Do y'all feel like Gilly the Kid kind of went a lot too hard or a little too hard um, whenever the Arthur sent him the kid's book that's supposed to, you know, the youth's supposed to read it and help the youth uh, that him and Charles, Charles talk, Trash Talk and Charles did together? Or do y'all feel like, man, listen, Charleston White was 100% right with what he said, you know what I'm talking about? Or maybe he could have calmed it down, son. But, you know what I'm talking about, it wasn't his fault that actually started it, right? Anyways, who do y'all think is at fault? Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.